So there's sort of various, various different ways that the public seem to look at it. So you can hear them comment on it and sort of see it as a quirky Victorian sort of look and feel to things, a bit of morbid fascination. Some people are really funny about it, they really don't like it, see it as sort of revelling in death. reactions a lot of people are oh oh no some people can't bear it other people think it's amazing you just don't get close to wildlife unless it's dead if there was something lying dead in the forest or on a dog walk I'd always have a little look and a little inspection and see its paws or you know you just you don't get a chance to I'm Teresa Walsh I'm a member of the guild of taxidermists I saw a programme on about five years ago called All Creatures Great and Stuffed. And there was a girl who got a hedgehog, gave it a smile and a daisy and then sold it on. So it was that series, really, that programme. Um, and then I'd always been into wildlife, but the only time you get to see it is when it's there, dead on the road. So hopefully this one will be as good as he. <laughs> And then you have really young children who don't even see them as being dead. They sort of see them as the actual animal just sort of frozen in time. I'm Lee, I'm a curator of natural sciences at the, based at the Booth Museum. I've always been interested in natural science since I was a very young child. My mum always used to take me out to look at wildlife from as early as I can remember. So I've always had an interest in natural history. In fact, I can remember at primary school when we were asked what we wanted to do when we grew up, most people said things like fireman, train driver, the usual things that uh, little children do. And I said paleontologist. <laughs> I'd encourage people to be enthusiastic about the natural world. It's the basis for everything and by destroying it, we're just destroying humanity. So by encouraging people to interact with the natural world, uh, I think that's very important. There's been a resurgence with artistic taxidermy. There was only two taxidermists working in museums around the country. It was a real dying art. Okay, these are two of my freezers, which um, contain most of my roadkill or what's been given to me. This is quite unusual, actually. A light-coloured mole. Normally they're black. And this one is paler than most. There's a box here which has got oh, a couple of birds. Oh, this is an interesting bird. A snipe, which is similar to a woodcock. But you don't often see one of those. The largest fans of taxidermy today it tends to be young women with a much more moral background so that's the area that I encourage because they tend to be ethical they tend to be uh, only using things which have been killed on the roads or found dead. You never know what you're going to find in this bag there's a couple of uh, crows Everything is ethically sourced. Nothing is killed for the purpose of taxidermy. Things have either died of illness or injury and you're just making something good again, a new lease of life. And the most unusual thing I've done is a Siamese lamb that was born with two heads. And I stuffed it and a collector um, bought it from me and the ewe went on to have it, another healthy lamb. It's my favourite uh... A specimen in the museum is this pangolin here. I've been fascinated with them since I was a child. They're also the most trafficked mammal on the planet, unfortunately. Tens of thousands of them are being killed every year uh, for this trade. It's eight different species being driven to extinction for no reason whatsoever. very fiddly, tiny little swallow. That was the tiniest bird I've done. I'm always collecting bits and pieces that are unusual things to mount animals or birds on. 
you know, if I didn't pick it up off of the road, it's just going to get pecked at, driven over. So I'm just preserving it and making it look good <laughs> again. I just like the end result when you find something that's injured, died and uh, looking pretty gruesome. And then you make it look good again and give it a whole new lease of life.